everybody what's up welcome or welcome back to my channel I am so excited about today's video I will be reviewing and comparing the old Kylie Cosmetics makeup versus the new Kylie Cosmetics 2.0 relaunch situation I got a couple of things basically to match what I already have so I'm excited to compare them and see the difference is there a difference I don't know I'm so excited man but before we get started as always if you are new here hi I'm Jamie B I do new beauty videos every single week you don't want to miss out on those so make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the video and the bell notification to be notified when I upload but without further ado let's get into the video if you're new to my channel hmm, hi I used to review Kylie products all of the time like I was such a big fan and then I kind of just like I think like strayed off just because it was just became overwhelming how much she was launching but this intrigued me that she kind of like redid her whole her whole brand um there's a lot of speculation on if it was because of this or because of that and I'm not here for that I don't care she just relaunched it let's get into the product and not why she relaunched so what did I get what did I get I got first a pencil sharpener just because I wanted it and it was there. Um, I got Mary Jo K, which is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks in red. It is 402 now, so this is new. The old packaging was a white and then the red was still there. I know that like a lot of her stuff now is pink based instead of like black and white based. So it does have like a lot more information on the back of the palettes. It says that it is vegan. On their website, it says it's clean, but nowhere on this package does it say it's clean. So I thought that was a little weird. So it still comes with a lip liner and the liquid lipstick. And I also have the old Mary Jo, just so we can kind of compare it. So let's compare. Okay, let's see if they're the same size. Okay, so reading the bottom, this one actually has 0.11 ounces and this one has 0.10. So I will say that it, you could tell that you get less in the bottom of the tube. So look at the tube comparison. This has more, this one has more acrylic on it than it actually has the product. And the handles are definitely different in height. So the old handle is a lot bigger where this one is more round, like wide, but it's shorter. Also, I will tell you other than that, like this is just matte and then this is shiny. So we're not really too worried about packaging wise, but I thought I'd throw that in there too. And then we have the lip liner. I actually did not have the Mary Jo lip liner. So I'm glad that I got this. However, it still has the same old, same old, this, this for some reason, ColourPop, Old Kylie, KKW Beauty. A lot of companies use this like plasticky pencil instead of wood and the liner winds up over time separating from the plastic so like a lot of the times when I'm putting these kind of lip liners on I have to go like this because if I go like this it pushes into it and I can't use it it's really weird it's on my nerves but it does so I have a highlighter and I got it in queen drip okay and I also have queen drip from the previous one so you can tell the size difference in the packaging let's see these were more rectangle these new ones are more square so the old ones were 0.34 ounces and the new ones are 0.28 so they're same price less product so that's that's something we've we've seen now so we have a square one which has about the same style obviously kylie and then kylie jenner is the same I would say that this is more of a shiny plastic where this feels more of a matte than it does shiny. So you do get a mirror still and it comes with just a clear like thing. It no longer has the drips in here. It just says Kylie all over it. So I'm assuming that maybe that was like a trademark for that lab and she couldn't take it. I don't really know like the business and legal side of this, but this is the old one where it had the drips. And honestly, I don't care what the design of it is. So this is the old one. This is the new one. I will say that new one looks like it's got a little bit more bling to it. Old one, new, oh, hell yeah look at the difference even if I this is the old one see these were I, these were never really my favorite because they didn't give me look at the, so it does look a little bit different in color looks like the old one had a little bit more pinky peach undertone where this one is a little less 
but this is bomb. Look at that. Oh my, look at the shine on the new one. It's not as powdery either. So I love the new one because it's not as powdery and messy. This is going to be a long video, by the way. I just want to make sure you guys really get the comparison because I feel like if you already have so much Kylie stuff and this isn't like new and awesome, then it's a waste of money and I don't want you to waste your money. So it's going to be a long video. Get a snack. Let's do this. So the next thing I got was the pressed blush powder in rosy. Now I'm fearful because my rosy is like really dark so see those I love this one because it's like one of her only blushes that really show up show up on my face and I think it's supposed to be for like a darker skin tone but it is it's not like it's not very pigmented so this one is the new one is 0.35 ounces and the old one is 0.26 ounces so this one you get more I don't know how that works that's strange okay so the new one you're getting more oh my gosh okay this one has like blush there's blush all over oh my god please don't be broken oh my god please don't be broken i'll be so fucking sad there's blush all over this and i'm i have not opened them it's broken oh my god uh, it's completely oh my god okay well it comes with a cute little thing it's completely fucking shattered so that's fucking nice. And then here is the old one. I'm, it's gonna be very hard for me to compare these two because of it being broken. I really don't wanna empty it out, but I'm trying to show you. This one, it looks like it's going to be actually a different shade. This is a little bit more dark and this one is a little bit more pinky. So more red, more pink. All right, so we're gonna go with the new one and then we're gonna swatch the old one. So yeah, wow. So the old one looks like it has a little shimmer to it where the new one is just straight matte. This is the new one. This is the old one. So this is the new one and then this is the old one. It has such shimmer to it. I like this a lot but do you see what I mean? Like they're not that dark and this is the darkest blush that she has. So this I love. I love the new formula. Once I go through everything I'm gonna do one side the old Kylie and one side the new Kylie. So the next thing I got was Toasty in bronze. It's a bronzer. The pressed bronzer and this is 0.35 ounces and the old one is 0.39 so you got more in the old one than you did in the new one please don't be broken no it's not so it does come with this cute little drip thing i wonder why the highlighter didn't i guess because it says kylie but that's as far as the drip is going <laughs> so let's open the old one which is one of my favorite oh the new one is darker and more warm tone so the old toasty is more cool tone where the new toasty is more warm tone which i kind of love because this is a beautiful shade but i would have loved it to be more warm tone so okay all right oh it's like like creamy oh okay her old ones are so dry so this is the new one and this is the old one it's kind of hard to swatch bronzers because I'm I'm tan but it definitely has more coverage where this one I even went in more and it's still not really picking up what I wanted to pick up so let's go into the lip stuff that I have so I got three high glosses and then I got Dolce K, the old Dolce K. So let's just see, I did wear the Mary Jo K the other day because I wanted to give it a long wear. The differences that I would say is the new one is a thinner formula, so it's not as drying. Like I know that people are like, oh, it's so dry, blah, blah. It's hard to get out, that was weird. But it's, it's less drying and it feels more natural. I'm gonna do the left side. So this is the new side. It's so much thinner. It doesn't cover as much either. Like I feel like I have to dip more than I used to, where for the most part with Kylie's, I would just do one dip and be fine. Okay, and now it does dry fairly fast. So let's move to the old Dolce K. It's just so creamy though. Ugh, the old formula was so creamy. That other stuff is so thin. But I will say, for it being a thin liquid lipstick though, it's not as, like I don't feel it. Where you can feel this liquid lipstick, the other one I cannot feel. I will swatch the lip glosses, but I probably will not put them on just because I don't want to ruin the liquid lipstick. So I got it in literally because I have the old literally, but it's not in the high gloss form. Oh, wow. That is pigmented. Oh, I like this formula much better. And the doe foot. I hated these doe foots because it's not even a doe foot. It's a it's a brush. These were kind of like runny. It was kind of gross where the new one, so those are comparing both literally. This is the new one where this is the old one. One, I like how this applies better. And two, I like the formula where it's not like runny and goopy. This feels like a lip gloss 
and I love the doe foot. So hands down, the new glosses are my favorite. I can feel the old one kind of being crusty and I'm seeing that there's a slight color difference. So I'm waiting for this one, to, the old one to dry because I don't know if it's a color difference or if it's just taking longer to dry. So I also got the shade Cupid in the high gloss and I also got the crystal one, which is just the clear one. I wanted to try the crystal one, but I it had sold out so many times. I could not get, I mean, I don't know why I'm swatching that, but I'm swatching the clear one so you can see that it's clear but I tried to get it so many times and it just freaking ran out I feel like the high gloss formula both high so this is the old high gloss I think they're both very similar in texture but I will say the new one seems to feel a little bit thicker okay so these are the two new ones this is the old one 0.11 ounces on the new ones and 0.11 ounces on the old ones these two are the new ones this is the crystal one without shimmer it's just literally a clear gloss this is cupid and then this one is always shining look how much like shimmery sparkles are in this one compared to this so i think that the glosses were also done a little bit better but i'm here for these i i do love her glosses her and fenty man they're right there i love them so we're gonna go into bronzer first i have toasty this side is the new one this side is the old one so the old toasty bronzer we're gonna go into it on this side i love the new liquid lipstick i feel like the old one is definitely more crusty i also need to fix these lines like what the hell is happening so i'm just bronzing up here all right so i'm gonna go in with a new brush that way it's not mixing but this is the new one and i'm just gonna go in just as light on the cheek oh wow so a couple of things the new one is definitely more pigmented but it's more patchy too i might have to i'm gonna go in with the same brush i'm cleaning it off because i feel like maybe it's the brush issue yeah i think it was the brush because that brush was so light yeah, because this is blending out way better. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, first of all, it can be more pigmented, but if it's patchy. Oh, I love that. Ooh, this isn't as warm tone as this. Look how pigmented this one. Oh, my God. I love the new one. All right, so if I had to choose, definitely gonna be the new bronzer. So I'm gonna put win over here, lose over here. <sighs> we'll try to do the blush. We're gonna, tr we're gonna try. Gonna hit it a couple times like I usually do. Tap off a little and just... Ooh, I love this blush. This is like one of my favorite blushes. Like it literally took nothing for me to get this on my face. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. All right, let me wipe that. Wipe, wipe, wipe. I don't know how I'm supposed to use this. Okay, dab, dab. Like I have to literally shake that off because that's just, there we go. It's just unfair to have them. Oh my God. I would say it's just as pigmented as the first one, but I'm definitely experiencing patchiness on the new formula. Like, look at how that's just like, ooh, beautiful. This is very, very patchy. I'm trying to get some more without all of that powder, but it's just, it's kind of patchy. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna go with the new one on the, the old one on this one, just for this one. Again, it doesn't mean all of them are that way, but for the rosy one, it's a bit patchy. Like I have to come in here with another brush and clean this up. Yep, so I'm going with the old one for that. And then the next two things are highlighter. We love highlighter, so we're gonna go with the old one. All right, so we're gonna go with the old queen drip, which is this one. So much powder on the highlighter i don't know why i stopped using these this is the old one oh. it's just a little powdery so when it grabs onto my texture it's just not as flattering this one has less powder and it picks up way more so let's see whoa first of all this highlighter did not need to come like that like this highlighter went way too a little goes a long way with these i will say that it looks like it's more sheer but it's more pigmented. I'm gonna tone, I just wanna tone it down a little cause it's a little crazy. And then you have this one where it's nice, it's it's there. It just really, really pulls onto my texture and I hate when any highlighter pulls to my texture. So I have to decide. Mm, mm, mm. Even though this has more, like I feel like it blends nicer and it's more sheer. I'm just looking at this old one and it looks so nice, but it is a little powdery. Ugh. I'm gonna go with the new one. I'm gonna go with a new one because I feel like it's less powdery, so it, it shows less of my texture. So that is the last of the items I'm putting on my face, but I am gonna go and swatch the Mary Jo liquid lips for you. So these look identical. These look identical. 
This is the new one. This is the old one. But these look so different. Like this is the old one. This is the new one. So I will tell you I 110% prefer the new liquid lipsticks. So they just don't feel as like crusty. See it comes off. E the new one comes off easier too. That's the one thing about Kylie's fucking lipstick. Like once they're on my dude they are on. I feel like it's gonna wear long but it's not gonna be heavy. I like when I can wear wear a lipstick and forget that I'm wearing a lipstick if that makes sense. I mm, I forgot how much I love 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 Dolce K. It is like my favorite liquid lipstick. Look at this. So the new one comes off a lot easier than the old one. <laughs> like for real. So let's get into my final thoughts on everything. When I first heard that she was relaunching I was like this is stupid. Why is she doing this? Like no one is gonna buy this. I'm not wasting my money. Now that I have played with this, this is a problem. I'm probably going to be replacing a lot of my current Kylie products with the newer ones. So I was not the biggest fan of the highlighters from the beginning. They were nice, they had a nice shine, but the problem was they were powdery, where the new ones have that nice shine. They seem more buildable, so they don't contain as much powder love that the bronzer is definitely darker the blush we're not that was patchy she was patchy so I want to try one that's not broken because I just don't know if because it was broken it was in pieces I just I want to try and give it an honest chance so I'm going to wait until they send me another one and then I will update you guys on how I feel about the blush but right now the new blushes is out for me because it was patchy I loved the new high gloss the liquid lipstick though that is i loved her liquid lipstick i really did a lot of people had issues that it was too dry now feeling it against this new one it definitely is a lot more drying and like seem like it is not going anywhere okay unless you break it down with some oil where this new stuff it's so lightweight that not only do I feel like, so I wore, like I said, I wore the Mary Jo one the other day and it lasted for hours, but it was also easier to fix, okay? And hear me out. If you have any of the old Kylie lipsticks, if you wanted to fix it, like add a little bit more if it's starting to come off after you ate or something, you had to like take it all off or you risked it being so layered. You risk it being so layered that it would start to crumble and crust and flake off. Where this, I don't feel like, I literally feel like I have nothing on my lips. I'm so excited about that. However, I would like to do one more thing. I'm gonna go in with the Literally Gloss, uh, the new high gloss, and put it over this just to see. Oh yeah. This is actually the perfect lip gloss, lipstick, combo oh my god okay tell me how you guys feel about this combo because i feel like this combo is like amazing truly amazing so this is going to be my new go-to lipstick combo so would i buy it again the answer is yes i'm probably actually going to buy it again what i'm gonna do is i will probably be replacing my more older kylie lipsticks one because they're super old and they need to be replaced anyways and two i absolutely adore the formula so i just really think that i would prefer to have these i might reach for them more i'm totally down to buy some more of these um as for the highlighters and the blushes and bronzers i do like the ones i got but i don't think that i'll be replacing all of the i have all of her highlighters, all of the bronzers, which I gave some of the darker ones to friends of mine, and all of the blushes. I do not think that I like them enough to replace all the ones I have. However, as they get older, as they get more worn down and I use them more, I will be replacing them for the new ones. I will also be buying a lot more of these. I'm, I've been into lip gloss lately. Like lip gloss has just been my thing for for a year, okay? So anything I can put lip gloss over, I'm down for. So let me know down below if you got any of the new stuff. What are your thoughts? Do you plan on trying some stuff? But I really, I'm glad that I did. It was on my auntie haul because I was like, I'm not about to give you my money for stuff I already have. But I really am glad that I took a chance and did because there are a lot more things that I liked better than the old ones than I thought. So do I think it's just repackaging and reselling? No, I definitely can see the difference in the formulas in 
every single product and so you're not rebuying and then some of them like the Dolce K they're two different colors so just keep in mind some of that because I don't want you to go purchase it thinking it's you know exactly the same and then it's two different colors and you're just like oh because I mean even the slightest tone off on something can change the way it completely looks on you so I definitely I I'm excited I'm not gonna lie to you guys this has really gotten me back to being excited for Kylie Cosmetics products because I love it I love it I love it all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed my comparison of all the things if you did make sure you comment down below and let me know what are your thoughts how do you feel all of that jazz and as always if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up for me and i will see you guys on the next one bye